that in an increasingly competitive world, just having a, what we call a traditional trademark, which is like a word or a device or a logo, is maybe not going to cut it anymore. And they need to, they're starting to realize that they need to think more broadly about branding in general. So trademarks is only one aspect of branding. You can register a word mark and certainly that'll, that'll you know, be enough or may not be enough, but it's a good start. But companies are starting to look at things like non-traditional trademarks, like colors and sounds and shapes and things like that. And for that, you need a whole different strategy. So whilst normally you, you should be proactive with your trademarks, when you're going to take an approach with a non-traditional trademark, you really need to start at the beginning and put your strategy in place for how you're going to get that mark registered. And I think that's a really, really big problem, not only in Australia, but all over the world, is companies don't have an IP strategy in place, so they're always coming to the protection piece too late. The worst case scenario is they invest marketing, promotions um, and expenditure in launching a new product or a service only to find a week before they launch, somebody says, have you done a trademark search? All the marketing collateral has been done. And then they find out that actually the mark that they've chosen is not available. So the worst case scenario is that, that they're going to have to choose a new trademark, redo all their uh, advertising and promotional material. They've essentially thrown the money away. But there's a lot of uh, preparatory work that needs to be done where um, we, I think we really add the value as, um, as trademark and IP specialists.